Hi, I'm Tim Brick, the Managing Director of the Arroyo Seco Foundation. So what's the responsible, sustainable alternative to LA County Flood Control District's devastating plan for Hahamungna and Devil's Gate Dam? Well, there is one, and I'm going to outline it for you. It involves four elements that will provide for a reasonable approach towards reducing sediment in the basin and restoring flood protection. Those elements are timing, method, biological impacts, and cost. The first element, go slow. Take 20 years to do the plan instead of three to five years, as the County Flood Control District outlines. The sediment has built up behind the dam for the last almost 100 years. A lot of the sediment that's there today was there in 1938, and it's still there. A slow, ongoing program will be much more effective. And there's still 17% capacity in the reservoir itself. This far after the station fire, a massive sediment flow is much less likely to occur. Instead of trying to move 800,000 to 1.2 million cubic yards a year, move 167,000 cubic yards for 10 years. And then after that, base the amount removed on the inflow into the basin each year. A slow, ongoing program, rather than the county's big dig, will provide a sustainable management program for the future. The benefits of a slow program are enormous. There'll be less trucks, there'll be less noise, less dust, less pollution, less habitat destruction, and less cost. The second element, go with the flow. Sluicing, or flow-assisted sediment transport, has been the main method used for sediment maintenance at the dam during its entire lifetime. And a lot of sediment moves through the system downstream from the dam, as you can see from these pictures here of the flood in 2005. As part of the county's draft environmental impact report, they have an appendix study which outlines ways to increase and manage flow-assisted sediment transport. A slow sediment removal and maintenance program will allow for more time for the critical flushing flows needed in order to move the sediment. There'll be more in a 20-year period of time, simply, than there would be in a three to five-year period of time. A slow program will also allow for testing the downstream effects of increased sediment flow and how to manage them effectively. Fast, flow-assisted sediment transport will greatly reduce traffic, air pollution, neighborhood impacts, and cost. So we can truly say slow equals fast. The third element, let the habitat grow. There's no need for a permanent large maintenance area that would be cleared every year of vegetation and habitat as the county plan and each of the alternative provides for. That denuded zone would amount to 50 to 120 acres of rich riparian and stream zone habitat permanently destroyed. With a slow approach, the rich riparian habitat can recover over time. Birds and wildlife can still enjoy the rich habitat diversity. And this is really the integrated approach, working with nature instead of against it. A fourth element that's key is keep costs low. The probable cost of the proposed project in the various alternatives presented by the county could be as high as $100 million. That's an amazing amount of money to spend on what has now become an ongoing maintenance program. The cost countywide, though, dwarfs that. The county will spend 3 to $5 billion just trucking sediment from one part of the basin to another, from one dam or debris facility to a landfill in the next 20 years, three to five billion dollars. This massive expense is now a permanent maintenance cost because trucking sediment does not solve the problem. The sediment is going to keep coming. So a sustainable sediment program for Hahamungna 
involves these elements. Go slow, go with the flow, let the habitat grow, and keep costs low. We hope that you'll get active in supporting the slow program for sediment management at Hahamangna. You can comment on the draft environmental impact report. The deadline is January 6th. Talk to your Pasadena City Council member who's going to play a major role in shaping this program because Pasadena owns the land. The county has an easement on it, but Pasadena owns the property. Talk to Supervisor Antonovich and the other county supervisors as well because ultimately they will certify the program that will be implemented. Subscribe to Arroyo Seco News and support the Arroyo Seco Foundation and Save Hahamunga, which are both tremendous repositories of knowledge and resources about this issue. You can find the information there that will help you write your comments for the draft environmental impact report. But please get your voice out there and tell the county, go slow, go with the flow, let the habitat grow, and keep costs low. Thanks very much for caring for Hahamunga. Ha